Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. It's been a long time since I've done a video like this. I have a bunch of new makeup that I bought and I never got to haul. This stuff is still fairly new. So if you want to see a haul, let me know because I have a whole box of stuff sitting in the corner of my room that I haven't used because I was waiting to haul it and then I never did. So I really just wanted to film a video using some of it at least because I haven't even used the stuff yet, most of it. I don't know if I'll ever get around to doing that haul. I'm also waiting on my Sephora VIB haul to come in from Sephora. Yeah, we're just gonna play. I haven't given a life update in a while, so I thought we could just sit down, chat, and play with some fun items. So the items that I am really excited to play with, the Viseart Liaison palette, um, I got some Kylie blush and bronzers, I have the new Sigma, it's fairly new, brow collection, and I don't know, just some fun stuff. So I'm going to start off with prepping. So I'm using this Emile Cordon Rose Lip Balm. And oh my gosh, you guys, this lip balm is so nice. It's like the Laneige, but more daytime friendly because it's much lighter. I love the Laneige, but I think it's a little thick and sticky. Like it's a lip sleeping mask. This is like the daytime version of it. It is so, so good. I've been loving that. This was sent to me, by the way, but... I mean, it's a good lip balm. I'm going to talk about it in my favorites, so that's a little sneak peek for you guys. In my Sephora VIB wish list, I wanted to try the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer, and I actually came across a sample of it, so now I can save myself the money and I can try it out without buying the whole thing. I did a wedding today, so... I used this before my makeup, so I actually have an opinion to talk about with you guys. It's not as good as the Hollywood Flawless Filter. If you're looking for a glowy base, I would just go with the Flawless Filter. This definitely adds a slight shimmer to the face. It's not really a sheen or too much of a glow. It just, you can see the shimmers, which... It adds a little something and it does peek through the foundation a little bit, but it's just not as good as the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I will say about this though, is I do like the way it makes my skin feel. It, it definitely smooths my skin a lot and has a little bit of moisturization to it, which is something that the Flawless Filter doesn't have. So texture wise, this does leave my skin feeling a little bit better. So onto the brows, Sigma sent me their fairly new brow collection, can't believe you know, I'm starting to slowly but surely get noticed by these bigger brands that I personally use and already purchased from. It's unbelievable to me. Of course, that doesn't affect my opinion on any of this stuff. I'm very transparent with brands in that I am just like, listen, you can send it to me if you want. But, you know, um, I choose what I talk about and I choose what I want to say about a product. So, something you'll never have to worry about from my channel is me being dishonest. Like, I just feel like when you start making videos, you really understand how much work and time goes into it. So it's a really good feeling when, you know, you start to get recognized. So I'm gonna play with the Fill and Blend Brow Pencil. Mine is in the shade Medium and it has a spoolie and it's very, very small. So super precise, which I like. It feels very lightweight. This shade in particular, I don't wanna press too hard because I feel like it's going to look a little unnatural and too dark. I used to do my eyebrows so dark with like pomades and stuff and I don't know, I just don't like doing that anymore. I will use a dark pomade when I'm doing a super duper dramatic look, but just for the everyday basis, I don't go too, too crazy with my brows. I do like a little bit of definition in my brows and accentuating my arch and things like that, but I literally used to go crazy with my eyebrows. I do not anymore. Can't believe I used to wear eyebrow pomade out in the daylight. Okay, so from what I can tell with this brow pencil, I really do like it. I'm definitely gonna wanna play with it some more, but I really like the amount of color that it gives and it seems to be blendable, but not too easy to blend away because I hate that too, because that destroys the purpose. From what I can tell, I really like this brow pencil. But that being said, I'm not too terribly picky about eyebrow products because at the end of the day, I can make a lot of different things work for my eyebrows. But thus far, I do like this. And now I'm going to go in with the Tint and Tame Brow Gel and this is just clear. And I've been needing a new brow gel. This is so perfect. I've been using the Benefit lately and I really, really do like that. Anastasia was my ride or die brow gel for years and then I got into the ColourPop. I don't like the way the ColourPop stays 
because it doesn't. <laughs> like, it's holding powers in very well. But I like the way it makes my brows look. I don't have much to say about that right now. It's brow gel, but... <laughs> Ooh. So the only really new thing that I don't have to try right now is a foundation. So I'm going to use a fairly new foundation to me. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. I mean, I've worn it numerous times so far, but it is still like pretty new to my collection. So I'll just wear it again. Oh my gosh, we're this far in and I haven't even talked about my life and my life update. So I kind of took February and March to have time to myself and my YouTube and things like that and just to give myself a break from life i am back to working full time so your girl is so busy so for those of you who have kept updated with me i graduated from college in january towards like the end of january and then i took a couple months off to myself i did college for four and a half years i did two majors and I was so burnt out that I just wanted some time to do nothing. So that's exactly what I did. <laughs> and I graduated with a degree in psychology and another degree in physical education. I'm at the time of applying to jobs and I was lucky enough to get a long-term substituting job doing PE for elementary school. So this is a really good experience for me so I can hopefully have a real, real full-time job by the fall, hopefully if everything works out okay. So I've been working. 40 plus hours a week and on top of that 40 hours of teaching I also coach a high school lacrosse team so I am not exaggerating when I say I have 12 hour long days so keeping up with my YouTube in the month of April has been really difficult I'm using the Catrice liquid camouflage concealer I got mine in a shade that's way too light on me but the show must go on so I've been trying really hard to have a video up every other day just to keep consistent with my YouTube. Um, I've done pretty good with it so far. I haven't been perfect by any means, but I've done pretty well about uploading consistently. So my goal is every other day, but of course that's not something I can guarantee because you know, I also wanna do other things on the weekend besides film and edit videos. Uh, for one, I need to work and plan for my job. And then two, I, I, I'm trying to have a life as well and it's really, really hard. I don't even have time to work out, which is killing me. Coaching lacrosse will be done for me though very, very soon within the next couple of days. So then I will have more time during the week to like answer your comments, stay online, film and edit. So hopefully it'll be a little bit easier for me, but I also will be hitting the gym after school now, which I'm so excited to finally have time to do that side note this was one of my first few times using this concealer i have used it a couple times and i think i like it so far it doesn't really stand out to me but i think it is a good drugstore concealer my favorite concealer lately has been the milani concealer i just think it's so dang good but you know what actually i'm liking this today more than the other time and you guys know i'm obsessed with the foundation version of this concealer and obviously it's a very brightening shade. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. So I did pick up my very first MAC Paint Pot. I got mine in the shade Painterly. I know I've been missing out on these. I did have a paint pot back in the day, and I'm talking probably like eight or nine years ago, and it was a MAC Paint Pot in the shade, I think it was Rubenesque. I don't think they even make that shade anymore, but that was back in the day when MAC was so poppin', and everybody had to own everything for MAC, and I got a paint pot in Rubenesque. It was like this orange color and I mean I was like 13. I didn't know what to do with it. So yeah this is like my first time using and understanding what a paint pot is for. I've used this once or twice. I think I like it. I like that I don't need to add concealer on my lid to have a canvas. So thus far I think I like it. So today I'm going to be using the Viseart Liaison Palette. This is kind of the reason I wanted to do the video because I wanted to use this palette. Being so busy, I don't have time to really play with makeup anymore, so I have to be very picky and choosy about what I choose to use, and that's why my favorites videos are going to suck for the next couple of months, because I just don't wear makeup really Monday through Friday. So I'm going to start off with this in the crease. Truly, I really have no idea what I'm doing, but we'll find out. I'm probably just going to do a simple look. You guys know Viseart is one of my favorite eyeshadow brands. I like them, Natasha Denona, and Pat McGrath. Those are my top three. Wow. 
So shade number one, I am liking this a lot. I've been swatching this palette for like the past couple of weeks and been wanting to use this so bad. This is pretty gray looking on my eye. Very, very cool tone. And we're gonna add some pop to this look and I'm using this lilac shade. I'm really just playing around with the colors in here and the formulas. I just wanna see what this palette's about. So if the look ends up ugly, that's okay. I'm just playing to see what potential this palette has. Wow, this is a pretty decent lilac shade, or I guess it's more so lavender. Whatever it is, that was a good decision. I'm using the Isum S33 right now, by the way. I did want to mention that because at the end of April, so that's like in a couple of days, or today, or tomorrow, whatever, is the end of Muse Beauty Pro's customer appreciation sale. I just think it's a sale you guys should jump on. It's like $20 off every $100 that you spend and it's just a really good company that I think you guys should purchase from. They have a really good, lovely team with great customer service and I think it's always good to support brands like that. So I know the Sephora sale is going on right now, but I always, always, always buy my Vizzy Art from Muse Beauty Pro just because I love their customer service so much. They're so sweet. So I recommend checking out Vizzy Art and I would recommend checking out the Eastum brushes. They're awesome. I don't have all of mine right now. I just did a major wash of all my brushes. So I just have some leftover brushes right now to work with. Okay, so let's add some definition. I'm still using that Eastum brush. We're gonna see how she blends. I was watching Tati's best and worst palettes today. She said she did not like this and it's like a muddy mess and I'm really not experiencing that. <laughs> I think this palette is gorgeous. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is the prettiest like super deep almost black purple. This was such a great color to add to this palette. Wow. Okay, so now I really, really want to go into these metallic shades. They look crazy. So I'm going to start off with the deeper one. And I'm going to use that as an in-between shade on the center of my lid to blend the super dark shade on the outer corner into the super light shade I'm about to put on my inner corner. So this is really beautiful. It's sticking to the light lid pretty well. This all over the lid is going to be scrumptious. Or this over this dark color all over the lid would make the prettiest purple smoky eye. But I have been dying to use this color on my eyelid. So let's do that so I can finally stop thinking about it. <sighs> and this is everything that I thought it would be. If you use this shadow wet, it's gonna notch it up 20 levels. I can already tell, but I don't know. I'm not really super big on using shadows wet. I know it's a great way to transform shadows, but if shadows don't work very well dry, I feel like sometimes it's a little bit of an excuse for brands to release not so good eyeshadows so they can use the excuse of, oh, you just have to use this wet to get it to work. Like, no, you shouldn't have to. Wetting it will always amplify the shade, but it shouldn't need to be amplified. That's just my opinion. But yeah, if you do use a shadow wet, it's gonna be amazingly intense and metallic, but dry, I really like it as well. This silver shade's gonna be intense. I already know it too. I don't know why it took me so long to purchase this palette, but I'm so happy. I finally did. You guys need to pick this up. Oh my goodness. So we're going to go in with the shade on the lower corner. One thing I will say about these shadows is they are a bit powdery, but as long as they work good, that's okay. I don't mind if they're powdery. What I cannot stand is colors that are powdery and don't work well, but mm, I love this palette. Wow. Okay, and now we are going to take the silver, which is another color I've been dying to use. And that's just going to be on the inner corner. Well, bam, pow. Um, amazing. So here's my consensus on this palette. It is amazing. Another Viseart palette that does it for me. Who let me wait this long to pick it up? Because, wow. Okay, so let's move on to finishing the rest of the face. So I made an order on KylieCosmetics.com. It's been a while since I've done that, but... Something bit my butt and one day I just added like $150 worth of things <laughs> in my cart. So one of the things that I picked up was the bronzer in tequila tan. So that is what we shall be using today. And I'm just going to put this over in my tanning areas. I've fallen off the Kylie Cosmetics 
wagon. However, I still do like to purchase things every now and then, keep myself educated about the products. I just, I have FOMO. I like knowing about everything that I can in a, the makeup industry when it comes to products. So even though I'm not super duper into Kylie Cosmetics anymore, I try to keep myself in the know. And I heard some great things about this bronzer, added it to my cart, and there's zero patchiness, and it's a really gorgeous color. So I actually really like this bronzer. I think it might be just like a touch, like a touch, 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 me being super picky yellow on my skin but no i really like this though this is a really nice bronzer and it applied so smoothly i have a few different options for blushes but i think for this particular look the most flattering is the kylie blush Oof. i just ran my finger through it <laughs> I destroyed the drip down there, but uh, wow. Okay, this is Pink Power. Again, heard really great things about her blushes. And y'all know how I feel about blush. So I had to pick it up. And I have to say, I do really like her blush formula from what I've tried so far. Because I have used this blush before and a couple other. And I really do like them. I'm so used to the trend right now of glowy blushes that uh, this is matte and I don't know how to act but uh, they blend really beautifully. They just seem a little flat to me because I'm so used to glowy blushes now. They are a really nice formula. So you go, Kylie. You really did kind of do a really good blush formula. I'm gonna put some on my nose and my chin. Okay, so highlighter. We are going to use the matte soft and gentle highlighter. Do I want to use this? Yes, I do. So a Mac store opened by my house. What's immediately close to my house is like literally nothing. So the fact that a MAC opened up really close, I was really excited about. I know MAC's kind of dying, but you know, if you're around for that era of MAC, I will always have a soft spot for MAC. So I did just pick up some things that I'd always wanted to try for MAC when I was younger, you know, and I couldn't, I was like 13. I should not, <laughs> like why well, did not need to be shopping at MAC? But you know, now that I'm old enough, I have my own job and money. I went to MAC and I purchased a bunch of things that I'd always had my eye on and I don't know see I wish I would have done a haul so you could understand but this is so gorgeous I feel like this is the OG highlighter and I just like it because it's not too too beaming it's very soft but it's also still like glowy and kind of beaming it's weird and it's hard to explain but I just really love this highlighter I'm like 10 years late on this bandwagon but Ooh, it is so pretty. I've used this a couple times, honestly, and it's so good. Like, it's one of the only highlighters I've been grabbing for. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera, apply liner and lashes just to save y'all some time, and I will be right back. For lips, I got this really neat package a few weeks ago from, I think it's Grande. Grande or Grand? But I think it's Grande. Grande lips and they sent a lot of fern stuff, but half of it was liquid lipsticks that are metallic And I don't really like metallic liquid lipstick. They have a shade that's called champagne bubbly and the color looks really obnoxious So let's play with it. Oh my gosh <laughs> Yeah, that's the color that was on the box. I just want to see what it looks like You know what as a lip topper that's not bad. I mean you won't catch me wearing this alone, but over top the right lipstick, this is kind of pretty. But I will say, the smell of these is not very nice. And if you don't like that tingliness, because it is a lip plumper, but I did get a lot of cool colors. But the colors that they gave me, I don't think are going to be very flattering with this look. We can try this one. This one isn't metallic, this is semi-matte. Ooh, this is a cool color. Mmm, did I say the name? Butter Rum? Wait a second. I really like this color. Ooh, Grande Lips Plumping Liquid Lipstick in Butter Rum. This is a really, really unique color. Ooh, I like this. It doesn't go with my look in the slightest. That's a really pretty color. I still have that very tingly sensation. I don't know if it actually plumps your lips. That was a really pretty color. Ooh, this one is really pretty too. This is Rebel Raisin. This is a semi-matte, but this is really like a deep color we're not gonna try it so i'm just gonna go to the mac lipstick that i bought because i know this will match this is in the shade so sexy this is from my mac trip that i made this is from their new nude lipstick line 
This is like a really pretty taupe. It's really pretty for cool tone looks. I had a wedding this morning and I threw all of my good lip liners in my makeup kit. So annoying. So this is the Jante Blue Spice Lip Liner, which is really good for the price, but it wasn't what I was looking for. Okay, so it looks like this is the final look. I'm very obsessed with this. Let's talk about everything that I tried. For the most part, I really loved everything, but let's go over it one by one. The Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow, this was probably the only thing that I really don't think is all that. It's okay, but it's just kind of there. It made my skin feel nice, but I have a lot of other items that make my skin feel nice. The two Sigma eyebrow products that I tried are really, really nice. I think they did a good job with these two. I have a few more brow products to try from them, but brows are really important, and I do really like these. And this brow gel is doing a nice job. I do have to say, this is really sticking my brows down. The Emile Cordon Rose Imperial Lip Balm. Absolutely amazing. These are quite pricey, but if you are into luxe lip balms, I think you will like this a lot. I definitely recommend these. The Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. This is actually very, very nice. It's really lightweight underneath my eyes. Uh, it's not the most full coverage, but this is like not creasing on me. Okay, so I think I like this more than I thought I did before I filmed this video. We have the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I think that I do like this. I haven't really worn it for a long term wear, so I don't know if it does make my eyeshadow last longer, but I do like how it evened out my base. I don't know, we will see how this goes. The Viseart Liaison Palette. This is definitely the star of this video. You guys really, really need to purchase this palette. <laughs> Uh, seriously consider picking this palette up if you like purples if you have not yet already because I am so obsessed with this look Wow, and this was just me screwing around I can't imagine how much I'm gonna like it when I actually like put thought into a look and create a really pretty awesome cool look the Kylie bronzer and blush. I really do like the formula that she has. Like I said, this blush was a little weird to me at first because I'm so used to the glowy blushes right now. So the fact that I have a matte blush on, I'm like, but these are really nice smooth formula and I really like this bronzer a lot. Uh, it's quite a unique color in my collection. I don't have another bronzer that looks like this on my skin and it applied seamlessly. So really think Kylie did a good job with that formula. MAC Soft and Gentle is the bombiest highlighter. I've used it a handful of times before filming this video, but you haven't heard me talk about it, so I love it. The MAC Lipstick in Sussexy, I have been loving lately. This is the Amplified Cream Formula, which I love. And I think this is one of my favorite go-to lipsticks now for cool tone looks. I just think it's so pretty, but without being too cool tone that it washes me out. Also, this Grande Lips Liquid Lipstick in Butter Rum, I am so taken by. It's such a pretty color. Um, I can't really speak too much for the formula. From what I can tell, I did feel a little bit drying, but I don't know. I want to base a whole look around this Butter Rum color. It is so unique. So I think they sell this at Sephora. So this color... I really, really like. I can see it not being flattering on a lot of skin tones. I'm into this color. Alrighty, so that is all I have for today's video. It's kind of all over the place, kind of a pointless video, but I just wanted to get on here, play with makeup, uh, talk about things that I haven't gotten the chance to talk about because my channel can be very formal sometimes and I don't want it to be formal all the time. Also, I've been thinking about doing some more kind of theme things on my Instagram stories. So if you would like to see hauls as things come in or like more outfit stuff or me doing Instagram lives or YouTube lives or I don't know. I just want to do something that you guys can look forward to and can get extra content from me. So if you have anything in mind, let me know. I could do some fashion videos, jewelry finds. I really don't know. I just want to be a little bit more active in small ways since I can't be fully active due to my schedule, but I still want to be present and here with you guys. So if there's anything you would like to see, let me know. Anyways, if you've made it this far, first of all, congratulations and thank you. And yeah, thank you for sticking around. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it at least. And remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a great day.